There's something that you are always dreaming. When it comes to you, you become very weak. It's like a snake. Yes. Huh? Yes, Daddy. The moment you dream it, you become very weak. Huh? Yes, that is true. So it must leave you today. It must come out for you. Touch your stomach. I'm Lindywe from Tembisa. Daddy spoke to me about the issue of the dreams that I've been having. It's true, I've been dreaming bad things. And at times I'll imagine the snake that I've been seeing in the dreams and it was even hard for me to pray because I would feel so weak. And for how long have you been dreaming this? From the past weeks. Yeah, this thing has been affecting me from the past weeks. Because when, it's come, when it comes to the issue of praying, to me it was a story. I, I, I was no longer praying like I used to. And would it bring fear in your life, the fact that you were seeing a snake? No, I cannot say there was fear in me because I knew that God will never leave me. No matter what the devil is doing, God will always be God. And today the man of God prayed for you for deliverance. How are you feeling? You know, I feel so relieved and I believe that I'm free indeed. And I believe that no matter what the devil is doing, and it will never come to pass because God is God and he never fails us. It's an existing business. Yes. Oh, you are doing that? Um, yes, one of the businesses, yes. It's logistic business. That's right, in mining. God wants to bless you, eh? Because I'm just seeing you, but this one that I'm seeing is a black car. Yes, um, uh, the black car, I'm not doing business with it. Uh, no. What is it? It's at the school. Uh, it's the one that is at school? Yes, man of God. Okay, go on to also use that car. This is something that you're going to do. I receive. You go and do business when you stay in the house. I don't know what kind of business is there. But you come and tell us. I receive. Thank you, Madam. The black car is in Mercedes. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's Mercedes. Yes. It's of him. Yes. Oh, you know him? Yes. Okay, come. So you will do business very soon. You are blessed. Uh, my name is Didi Lubambo. I'm from H&M Pretoria. Uh, that's in Silverton, Pretoria. Prophecy and confirmation? Um, what the man of God has... Um, I, I start by glorifying God for his anointing, for the grace that's upon this house. Um, yes, the, the prophecy is true. And um, details about uh, prophecy in terms of me working from home, I didn't know that. But though um, I've been believing God for years to get a system, a business system that will generate revenue without me working all the time, whether I'm at work or not, but it's a system that's generating revenue. And uh, this is only a confirmation that shows that God has answered my prayer. I glorify God for that. Can you stand up? God wants to bless you, but there's this headache that is hitting you. Yes, Daddy. Huh? Yes, Daddy. I'm hearing it now. <laughs> Come on, you demon. L leave, leave her down. She's free then. Can you just lift her up to hear about this strange headache? It's like it's confusing her because... She it drinks something, but it doesn't stop. Can you just tell us about this headache? Because it hit my head here. I fell somehow here. It's too much, Daddy. I, most of the time, I don't even speak about when I'm sick. I just keep quiet and just take medication, hoping it's going to go away. But, but it, nothing is going. No. It is leaving you now in Jesus' name. My name is Antonia Machubut. I'm coming from Johannesburg. 
And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God spoke about the headache that when he's standing there next to me, he's feeling a headache. So I confirmed the headache to be true because um, I'm a regular person who drinks uh, Grand Pra each and every day because um, sometimes I feel like I don't sleep enough. That's why maybe I think um, I'm having too much um, of a headache. And how was this headache affecting you? It was affecting me a lot because I couldn't do anything anyway because I couldn't, even at work, I, w I would just sit and do nothing. And most of the time, I won't even tell anyone, I will just go and buy grandpa because most of the time, I feel like when I drink grandpa, it goes away very quick. So most of the time, I won't even tell anyone that I'm having a headache or, or stuff like that. And for how long has this, be, uh, this headache has been occurring? I think it, it has been for a very long time. Um, it was just from my, from my side, I feel like it was just an, an ignorance. So it has been going on for a very long time. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? Immediately he finished praying for me. A terrible headache came and then I also vomited and I feel very light and the headache is gone and I believe that today I won't um, feel that headache that I used to have. So I believe that I'm healed and I'm delivered and I'm free. Amen. Sister, there's a problem in your stomach here. It's too much. Huh? It's too much. It's too much. There's issues of pulling you. It's too much. Daddy. Inside here. It's too much, Daddy. It's too much. Ouch! Ouch, you demon! Come on! My name is Carol. My Ifo. I come from Win Mandela Zone 4. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God prophesied about the pain that is hitting me in my stomach. And the, the prophecy that daddy prophesied about me is very much true because since last day December, this pain, it was hitting me so much. It was terrible. I don't know. It was terrible. So today I'm very much like I'm Kilewa Mudimure. Like a man of God, he, he prays for me. And I believe God for in the name of Jesus. And for how long have you been experiencing this excruciating pain in your stomach? Like I was realized last year, December, early December, I was feeling something moving in my stomach. Yes. And how was it affecting you? Yo, it was affecting me so badly. Because when I'm asleep, like it was like it was tough if I'm sleep like this side like I'm supposed to when I'm sleep I'm supposed to look up like I feel better but if I'm sleepy side it was very bad it was hitting me yes and do you believe that God has healed you from these pains yes I believe because even today early in the morning I was praying or Today, at least, men of God must pray for me. I'm sick and tired about this pain. So, I'm very much worried, Daddy. Indeed, it, men of God, he pray for me. I mean, I'd like to thank God for that. And what are you believing God for? Like, I'm believing God. God, God is great God. And you must believe God all the time. Even if you are sick too much, you must put God first. You say, God is God of great. I mean... Bring her. Jesus. Come on, it's Jimo. Bring her again. Come on. Where is your husband? She's huh? still in the church. Huh? Sit up there. Call him. For you and your husband, there's a problem. Eric! Call your husband. Eric Nguanyana.
My oh, brother, this is a serious problem in your house. You are not happy about this woman. No? That is true. Huh? That is true. And uh, they are attacking this woman. Sometimes she doesn't even want to meet you. He's every day sick. Huh? She's every day sick. Every day sick? No? Yes. Because of what she's going through. That is true. The stomach here is a problem. That is true. Uh, so you have tried everything. Even but today God is setting her free. Even myself, I got a big, uh, big pain since I'm sure five years now. In fact, your money is supposed to spend on doctors. That is true. And that's what you are doing now. Yes, um, did. And you are just stay together now, like a brother and a sister. That is true. Huh? That is true. It's a serious problem. Come on, you demon. You are attacking your wife. This thing that is happening to you is like a kidney. That is true. Come on, you are free. My name is Salum Kwanyana. I'm coming from Ivory Park. The man stating beside me is my husband. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Yes, during, when the man of God was praying for us, he said to me, there is a problem in my family. There is an attack, a serious attack in my family. And he said to me, where is your husband? He said, call your husband. And I called my husband. And he told him that there is a serious problem. They are attacking me. They are attacking me. They are attacking my stomach. My stomach is... I am having a serious problem in my stomach. What was happening to your stomach? My stomach used to be so painful. I, I feel pains always in my stomach. The pain that when he started, I can't even do anything. I can't eat. I can't sleep. It will be a severe pain that I can't do anything when he's there. And how was this affecting you? It's affecting me very badly because when the pain is there, I can't even satisfy my husband. It's what the man of God said. Mm, there's no... He said I can't, I can't meet with my husband as um, a wife and a, a husband. It's difficult for me to, 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 to satisfy my husband. It's true. Yeah, that is true. That prophecy is true. And how was the situation in your marriage since uh, you were being attacked in your stomach and you were failing to satisfy your husband? I, 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 I don't know how to explain because it makes me so sad because as a woman we, we have to, to make your husband happy always. So I'm failing to do this because of this attack. And I'm always sick, even all, all over my body. I was, I, I'm sick all over my body. It's not only the stomach. I'm sick all over my body. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? I feel so happy. I'm so happy today because my problem is over. I'm, and my family is free. I'm free and my whole family is free. Papa, can you tell us your name and also introduce the person next to you? I'm Eric Nkwanyana. Uh, the lady next to me is my lovely wife. And can you confirm the prophecy? Yes, the prophecy of the man of God of D.D. is 100% correct because uh, always my wife, she's sick. He cannot, each and every day, it, it is, she's always sick. So sometimes even when I'm coming to work, I find that uh, she's difficult and even he cannot even, even um, able to to, 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 to to look at our children. Yes. And how was that affecting you? Yeah, it's affect me a lot because, uh, you know, there are some of the things uh, that I, I have to do as a man while I was, I'm, I'm trying to help my, 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 my wife because I can see that his attack is over. Yes. And what are you believing God is going to do for your marriage now? Yes, I believe in God today, our marriage, we have received a deliverance and I believe God for a breakthrough for my family and also my children. Because there is another 
a child of mine is a girl is uh, almost 22 years now she's just gone out of the house we don't know where she is but because of today a man of god did has located us i believe god for a breakthrough and my daughter my daughter will come back home thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus brother you went to a church but something wrong happened in that church huh i'll tell which church are you going? No, there's a church you, you used to go. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Where? Huh? Something wrong happened there. I wish you didn't even go through that, those things there. Because they wanted to make you somebody who dream dreams. Huh? So, this, you must be separated with this thing. Because all this thing is working against you now. You are always worrying why your life is not moving. Yeah. Huh? The and then here, they did something to you there. Even when I pray for you, it's like this stuff that try to push me. Because you are like a person who sees something that will happen. You see something, you dream something, like it will happen. And then you are free. Karibu. Yes, And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? The man of God has said to me that I believe in the name of God. So I believe in the name of God. And then the spirit of the Lord has prospered. Can you receive spirit of delay. We should something or maybe the corner of the bond of the but it is the or the of The man of God prophesied to me about a spirit of delay in my life, which I confirm to be true, because everything that I try to prosper in my future, I fail. I I see nothing happening in my life. And for how long have you been facing this spirit of delay? Uh, so the person this has been happening for a very long time because even when I tried to search for solutions in other churches before coming here, they told me about the same problem and this was affecting me, but I am believing God that is going to change my life and my situation in the name of Jesus. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, what are you believing God for? I believe that what uh, that from now on my life will prosper and what the man of God has said to me will come to pass upon my life in Jesus name. Amen. You you saw I'm seeing you fighting in the dream. Swing a chot. Swing a chot and it's cool. I'm just seeing you doing like this, doing like this and then mm. and you are fighting fighting with somebody who can see the face. Yeah. Huh? Mm. And then where's your husband? Because the one who can tell us this sometimes becomes physical. Yeah. So God is setting you free from this demon. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Very much. Demon. Come on, you demon. Ouch. The demon, this one. What are you doing? I'm speaking vendor. Hey, you stop. This demon must leave you now. No, why? Huh? No, Brother, come here. Yes. If I shake hands with you, the demon will leave. No. 
In Jesus' name. Even yourself, you need deliverance. You are free. Brother. My name is Surprise Mononde. I'm coming from Ivory Park here in Tembisa. The person next to me is my husband, the father of my children. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? The man of God said to me, I always dream fighting with people. And then the, that prophecy is 100% true because I always dream fighting with people, always. Every day, every now and then, I always dream fighting with people. It's 100% true. And when you wake up, how would you feel? Like every time, every day, I'm feeling f sick every day. I feel sick every day. Like it was, it was affect me a lot. And, and, and what are the things that you were starting to see or to experience because of this dream? I, I was facing a lot of stagnation, a lot of hatred. Even though I didn't do anything to people, they just hate me without anything. And then that's why, that's why I said, yeah, it was affecting me a lot. And were you, did it ever occur to you that these are spirits that are trying to block your life? Yes. I think, yeah, I even think that is an evil spirit that is uh, trying to affect me. Yes. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? Now I'm feeling blessed, I'm feeling delivered, I'm feeling light, and then I believe that it is done in my life. So can you also tell us your name, where you come from, the person next to you, and also confirm the prophecy? Okay, my name is Rivoani Tobagare. We are currently staying in Ivory Park. Uh, we, are in, we, are, we are from Venda. Uh, so the person next to me is the mother of my children. Uh, so I am here also to confirm the prophecy that she received. We were sitting there at the back when the man of God came and uh, located her. And uh, he said uh, she had a, uh, a strange dream, which I confirm it to be true. Because uh, when we wake up in the morning, she, she told me about it, and uh, it was a strange dream. I thought maybe it's a, you know, uh, just a dream, up until when men of God located her, where we were sitting there. So I think uh, this kind of dream is an attack, because men of God also told me, I'm also having a dream, which I confirm also uh, that is, a, is a true. Because I also dream in a pit of a toilet, trying to save some clothes of uh, being thrown inside the toilet. So uh, this kind of a dream, it's been a terrible dream for us. So I confirm it, but uh, I also be glad because man of God uh, asked me to come and shake hand with him. And uh, he said that uh, she will be delivered, and which is through she is delivered. Yes. And today you received deliverance from having bad dreams. What are you believing God for? I believe uh, God of Charis is at work and uh, is favoring us because uh, if uh, we can be located in this magnitude of people, I mean God is in our side. I, I thank God of Charis. Uh, yes, amen. I saw a demon that wants to close. You see your eyes are like this. You have got problem with these eyes. Yeah, even the doctor told me that I need to be operated. Huh? The doctor told me that I need operation. It's just that I was just in glory. The demon want to close your eyes like this. Blind. So now, doctor, you must make operation. Yeah. Huh? I went to a specialist, yes. Huh? I went to a specialist. Remember the life you were living before? Yes. You didn't live a right life. And Satan used that life to attack you. And that is why even today, you are living a lonely life. So you'll be delivered today and you won't do oppression. Amen. I receive. Where are your children? One is here and then the two, they are with their father. Huh? One is here. The other There's two. one child that is giving you problem. The second born. Yeah, the middle one, yes. Is the one is giving you problem. Yes. Huh? Yes. Come on, you demon of failure. Ouch! Ouch, you demon of failure. 
let's go that side. My name is Gloria Randera. I'm from the Orchards Agashia in Pretoria. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Um, the man of God um, prophesied to me that my eyes are about to go blind, that there's something that is about to close my eyes, of which I confirmed because I went to a specialist who said to me, I'm developing perigia that if it's not operated, I might go uh, blind. It might close my, my eyes. And when did you discover this? Um, it was last year, I don't remember the month, but last year, beginning of last year, I think around February, March. Yes. And how were your eyes affecting you? Um, more especially when it's hot, I feel like there are stones inside my eyes. More especially when I'm driving, yes. And when they told you about the issue of operation, how did you take it? No, I just ignored it and uh, believed in God that God is the one who will be able to heal me. So I thank God that today, at least the man of God uh, prophesied over me, and then I believe that it's a past. It's, it will never happen. Amen. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling much, much better now. I cannot feel any stones in my eyes. Yeah. And what are you believing God for? I believe that God has healed me. From now on, I'll never feel those stones in my eyes, and I'll drive properly. Even if it's hot or cold, I'll be able to see properly. Amen. Where are you, Pastor? Social proof. Bring him up. Where are you, Pastor? Social proof. Where's your wife? She. Huh? She. I dropped her off at church. Huh? I dropped her off at church in the morning. Stand up. The church is not growing. It's true, sir. Huh? It's true, man. You have done everything. It's true, man. To make the church to grow, isn't it? It's true, man. Oh, and now people are laughing at you. Yes. Because some people went out of the church. Yes. Huh? Yes. Because some people went out of the church with one man. I see this man who's lying against you. And the church is not growing. Yes, man. But go bring the right people. Yes, man. The people belongs to God. I when people leave you, don't look at them. This is a week of restoration. This is a week of restoration for you. My name is Apostle J. M. Mapon. I'm coming from Sushangufi. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? The man of God said, where am I pastoring? And I said in Sushangufi, he asked me that the church is not growing. And I confirmed it that it's not growing. And he asked me also, where is my wife? I had said I dropped my wife at church. He said he saw one man moving out from the church and going out with a group of people. And I can confirm that. And I believe God for restoration. As, as this happened already, the fact that a person went out with uh, many of your members. Yes, there is someone who went out from the church with a, a group of people. And for how long have you been in the ministry? Since last year I've been in the ministry. And when you were facing this stagnation in your ministry, how was that affecting you? It was affecting me because even the man of God prophesied that I have invested everything into the ministry, but still there's no growth. I had done everything humanly possible and even prayed and done, ev invested everything into it, but it was not growing. And when you decided to come to Charis today, what were you praying for? What were you believing God for? In my prayer, I was just praying that God should be able to pick point me so that there should be restoration within the church. And how do you feel that the man of God has located you today? I feel blessed. I feel that it's my time. I feel restoration has come to the church. Amen. You must ask God forgiveness. Okay. Because of what happened. Yeah? Okay. But do that. Are you going to ask God? Yes. Eh? Yes. Forgiveness. Yes. Because you have hurt someone. And this thing is working against you here. Okay. 
So I'll pray for you. Something like disappointed someone. Yes. Huh? True. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. In the last minute. Yeah, it's true. The person did everything for you. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. But in the last minute, you went to a wrong person. And this thing is working against you now. The suffering you are seeing now is because of what you did there. Come on. Come on. Demon. Allow it to confirm what I'm saying. Yes, it's true what the man of God said. What is true? Because I just told you a small thing here. I wanted to talk. Because if I speak here, it's like now I'm kissing you. And it's what you did. Talk. I think I had the father of my son. Yes. Yeah. And then? Can you talk? Yeah. He disappointed me, then I decided to go to many places so that he will never have peace or find somebody. <laughs> I want you to talk. I heard that if you can talk, you'll be confessing. Yeah. Eh? That's what I did. You said what? I've been going to many places for him. To do what? So that he will come back to me and believe the people he's with. Oh. Many places you mean where? The Sangomas places. To do what? To consult the... No. It's not what I'm saying. So when you go to Sangoma, you said what? I told them the Sangoma that I want him back. No. You realize he's not coming back. You did what? After you realize that you've done everything and you're the one who helped him, he left you. Yeah, he left eh? me. True. He left you. Yeah. And then now, when you realize he's gone, you go and do what? I don't remember. Eh? I'm so, always going to Sangomas to consult. That's one thing I can confirm. There's no something you did to your body with a charm. To my body? Yeah. There's yeah. something you put a charm in the water. Yeah. Huh? They give me something that I put on my water to bath with. And then from there, explain about that one. Many places that I go to consult, they give me water, so I don't remember specific... There's place where they, they say if he doesn't come back, what will happen? Uh, you forgot. Yeah, because so, I'm always consulting. So now, you need to accept Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Okay. God loves you. All right. Because you did a lot. You did a lot. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. It's too much. Yes. True. God loves you. Do you want to accept Jesus? Yes, I will ask To be your Lord and Savior? Yes. Okay, we'll pray with you today. There's this brother. I'm Rosani Munisi. I came from Vuani Lipompo. I'm staying here in Timbis. And can you tell us the word of prophecy that you received today from the man of God and also confirm it? The prophecy that I received from men of God was that there is some way I go and hurt somebody. I confirm that that to be true. Because I did go there. I go for my the father of my child so that he won't find nobody. He must come back to me.
Where did you go? I go to Sangomas. Mm. That's where I go. Salt. Mm. And did this Sangoma give you anything? Something to 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 use to call him to come back to me. Yeah. And and how would you do this? Can you explain to us? Would you do it when you're bathing, or you, can you explain to us how you were doing it? To call him while I'm bathing. And even they put, they give me some muti where I used to call him also by name. Yeah. Was it working? No. It was a disappointment after all because nothing came out from that. Yeah. And how did this affect you? This has been affecting my life for a very long time because I'm facing disappointments. Failure, nothing is going good in my life. Yeah, I was stuck. I was stuck on the past. Nothing was, nothing was moving. Yeah, my life was stuck. In. Even though I was doing everything, he didn't came back to me. Yeah. And were you expecting that the man of God was gonna tell you about what you were doing to get to this brother back? No. I was not expecting that prophecy at all. Yeah, I was not. And now that he has prayed for you, how are you feeling? I feel light. And I'm going to accept Jesus as my savior from today. Yeah. And after accepting Jesus to be a personal Lord and savior today, what are you believing God is going to do for your life? He's going to change my life forever. Say yeah. the name of Jesus. Amen. It's going to change my life my forever. I'm going to get some money and move on with my life. Yeah. Where's your elder brother? I don't have an elder brother. You are the only one. Yeah. Eh? I know it's only me and my sister. I don't have an elder brother. Yeah. That's why they've attacked you. Because you are, su you are supposed to be the leader of the family. Huh? Yes, true. Mm. There's a problem in your stomach here that pulls you up. Always, yes. you feel something here, it pulls you up. Yes, and also, yeah, also I don't know if it's a kidney or so what. So I've been they to a doctor. You. They attacked you. They tried to close your mouth. Also. Oh. You succeed, you're the head of the family. Thank you, Jesus. I'm safe. My name is Khabanoe Pache. I come from Pretoria, but I, uh, I live in Pretoria, but I come from Pochifstrom. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Okay, the man of God said that I've got a pain in my stomach. And uh, yes, uh, I can confirm that because uh, a lot of times I tend to have a pain around my stomach area. Uh, and initially I thought it were kidneys, but, it, but then uh, the doctors cannot find anything. So yeah, I confirm it to be true. And for how long have you been experiencing these pains? Yo, it's quite some time now. I went to the doctor several times. I think it's a couple of years now. That, 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 yeah. And how was it affecting you? Uh, the most it will come during the night, in the middle of the night, whenever I am, I am, I'm sleeping, and then I'll be up, you know, uh, trying to take some pain tablets, but then it didn't work. Uh, the, the doctors did some blood tests, but they uh, found nothing wrong with it at all. And then also sports-wise, I can't even play sports. I can't even train sometimes because 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 of that particular pain. And then uh, the most of the time I have to take uh, sick leave at work because of that uh, particular pain in my tummy. Yeah. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling much better actually, a bit lighter. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I, I really thank Jesus for that. Um, yeah. Also, it didn't Okay. I know that's also this is my first time here today. We decided to come today just to come and visit, but the man of God located me. And then he told me all my problems. But then I thank Jesus for that. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Where's your husband? He left me. He left you? Yeah. Which one are you having now? 
Eh? Which one are you having now? Is James. It? Where is it? It's around Tembisa. Eh? It's around Tembisa. But can you see the one who's causing problem? Eh? Yes. When you were with your husband, you would respect him. It's not true. It's true. Now you are with James now. You are starting again what you were doing to your husband. And then, uh, even this relationship won't last. You need deliverance. You understand? Yes. Because you've been talking bad things about men. That these men are the same. And now look at your life now here. You need deliverance. This is the spirit of your family. It's true. Where you, eh? It's true. You people where you have children from different fathers. I'll set you free. Come on. Spirit of a family. Lift her up for deliverance. Lift her up. She needs deliverance. Uh, what a My name is Julia Skhal. I'm from Ebony Park. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Okay, man of God. My husband then my husband left me. My husband left me 20, 2012. Since then I've been staying alone. But now somebody Yeah, whatever man of God is true. And the fact that your husband left you, how did that affect you? Uh, to me it was a relief because I've been staying with that man since uh, for sure I was 19 years. I have two kids with him, but he, he was not uh, doing anything in the house. Like in the house, I'm the man, I'm the, I'm the woman. So I was doing everything by myself. He was not helping at all. Yes. And were you having hope that you would marry again? Uh, no. Since he left me... Um, so every man they are the same. That's what I learned. So I I guess now hope you one day in Gavaka Tola Lenyalo Habab. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? Like I'm feeling relieved now. So li li hope you are one day in Gavaka Lenyalo Kigwagena Leon. And what are you believing God for? I've believing in God Ori one day in Gavaka Lenyalo. Package money. Uh, the mat uh, yeah, the, it's not enough. It's not enough. Yes. That's the reason why I want to pray for you. Okay, right. That something happened in July last year. But even now, nothing. So you will wait in Jesus' name. Come. Okay, my name is Patrick. I'm Kemi at MB Sazon 8. Win. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Okay, the man of God will tell me about my wedding. And uh, I ask me, the first question asked me, what's happened on July? I told him so that I were finishing to pay my lobola. And already that is true. I were finishing to pay my lobola. So now, and he, he, told, he continued to tell me that uh, I'm going to wait. And he told me about the, the money. That, that I have, I say that the money that I have is not enough uh, according to the plan that I'm going to do it. It's so that uh, all things are going to be alright. Yes. Were you having struggles or challenges of getting the, the required uh, finances that you needed? Mm, actually, I'm going to say yes, because I was supposed to where last year when i check my timetable i was so late so i expect and i speak to my wife say that uh, we're gonna do it next year so, and i believe this year we're gonna do it and now that the man of god has prayed for you how are you feeling and what are you believing god for uh, first of all i trust daddy daddy is a 
each and every words that they did speak in is God himself. So I trusted him too much and I believe those things will happen. Yes. It took the grace of God for you to be here today. Yeah, amen. You didn't want to come to church. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Can you just come? Come. Who came with you here? Uh, I came with, uh, we with promise, but you went back now. You didn't want to come to church here. Yeah. yeah it's uh, by the grace of God you are here. Yeah. Uh, because in the things of, of Christianity, you have lost hope. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is not working for you. Mm. Mm. Can we just take Jesus again? Amen. And follow him. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. You came with who he? I came alone. I'm from Limpopo. So I met someone from home and then I invited her to come to church. But now she went back to school. She's at UJ. Where's the wife? I don't have a wife. She's a fiance. Where is she? She went back to, she's the one, she went back to school, to campus. Is the one that you say she went back? Yeah. So why you didn't say with my friends? I want to bless you so that you marry. Eh? Don't give up. You are free. I'm Ebenez again from Lamlele Limpopo. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, when I was on a prayer line, the man of God said, uh, uh, who did I come with to church? And then I said, someone. And then he said, how related are we? Uh, are we? So then I said, she's my fiance. And then he said, uh, uh, he's just giving me a blessing that I should marry. Yeah. Were you praying to get married? Yeah, I was praying since, uh, uh, since, yeah, since my Christian life. And, and the other thing that you mentioned, it's, uh, it seems like my Christianity is going down, so I shall never lose hope. So I, I shall even take Jesus again, so which I confirm it true. Yeah. What's the reason that made, you, that made your Christianity to go down? Oh, a lot of challenges. And, and, and sometimes um, when my books I write, um, and then it's being published, obviously, there's nothing coming. Even last week, I, I received an, an, uh, what was a statement saying like uh, the reality is zero zero. So since now, my books have never been so been bought. Even now, when I I, I write book, a lot of manuscript sometimes they, they are rejected. But for now, they have accepted it. But it's just delayed, and it's just, sometimes I just gave uh, a lose hope. So, but decided I shouldn't lose hope. Yeah. And you were you were a Christian before, and then you lost hope, and then uh, you you lost hope. How was your life then after you t took a back seat on the things of Christianity? Oh, oh there's been a lot of attacks, and uh, a lot of things have been so stagnant, and uh, I, I couldn't even see more visions or even hear God when he's speaking because I, 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 I was no longer praying or ever serious yeah so that's when I've been like uh, depressed and attacked it, it, it dropped yeah and were you expecting that the man of God was gonna locate this challenge yeah but uh, yeah he did and it's a it's a hidden thing but there was something that I wanted him to confirm but I still believe that God will help me for, for that but I, I did pray it and I was um, dedicated that uh, if he locates me and then he will deliver me and uh, glory to Jesus for that and how are you feeling that he has now prayed for you yeah, no, I'm feeling okay because uh, uh, my marriage has been challenged. Even from my fiance side, there's a lot of challenges like uh, attacks, like witchcraft and whatsoever and from my family side. So, so now I believe that he has graced me with that. So God has confirmed it that it will happen. So I thank God for that. I'm sleeping with her. She's my wife. Brother, I will see you very worried. Huh? Yesterday. Huh? Yesterday. You are failing to sleep. Yes, sir. Because of what is happening in your life. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Is it true? Yes. Huh? Yes. Because there's nothing that is moving in your house here. Yes, sir. Receive breakthrough. I want to pray for you. It's like I can continue to go to Ivor Park. And can you tell us what the man of God said to you today and also confirm it? Yeah, Papa will let that way or in a girl. So I'm worried. So yes, it's true. 
I confirm it's true because sometimes can I can get away? Or how can I now get a Christian? But I'm still renting and stuff. So yeah, it's true because I don't want to rent. I want I want my land, my own land. So that's my worry, and uh, uh, also I need children. Yes. So it's true what they said. And how was it affecting you? Oh, uh, you know, sometimes you, you, think, you always think about uh, uh, like if you, if you, if you are a Christian, you always. We always pray like you want something to show like you don't find find it you become worried like yeah so and for how long has this been worrying you no uh, but lifting up this always but, but because they do it come for me, I, I'm not gonna worry. Yeah. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? Now I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. And what are you believing God for? I believe God, God, God has promised that uh, we will keep our land. Glory, glory, glory. Like glory. We can we can just think about things. There's a glory that God is doing. Uh, uh, we don't have now, Your but about to be spiritually we do have. They are about to be so I think we'll keep our land.